Hello everyone, in today's video, I'm attempting to reset my reverse camera on my 2021 Hyundai Elantra SEL. If you have not yet had an opportunity to do so, please be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel as well as give this video a big thumbs up. All right, first of all, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna say I'm going to start the vehicle by pushing to start. I clicked on confirm. I currently have my radio off, but I will be directing you over to the head unit itself at this point. So this is the head unit monitor that I'm going to be working with today in order to access the engineering mode as well as to potentially reset the camera system to hopefully re-enable it by clearing the log codes. So in order to tap into your engineering mode, if you've gone ahead and watched any of my prior posted videos, you may have seen me go ahead and try and make an attempt at accessing it. I did have a very special person go ahead and drop me the engineering code in order to access the information contained regarding my specific vehicle. If you're looking for that engineering code, I think it would be best not to specifically go ahead and share it with you, the user, so that you don't potentially brick your Hyundai or put yourself into a bad situation. But for the purpose of this vehicle, I will be accessing the engineering mode as well as clearing out some service log errors. I will share those with you and the reset process and let's go in and see if this fixes our problem because that's probably why you're watching this video. Okay, so in order to go ahead and access the engineering mode, first of all, you need to go ahead and click on setup. That's like the main screen and you will need to go ahead and go into general. So you will be brought up to a model software firmware version. In order to go ahead and get into the engineering mode, you need to do a specific amount of taps on this head unit. So it's usually five and then one, and then you're entering into a code. There's also another code I wanna share with you, a code page where it's going to ask you what's the code in order to access this. So I'll show that with you too. All right, so it's usually five and one, so let's try it here. One, two, three, four, five, one. And if it doesn't work right away, you must go ahead and try, try again. There we go. So now I have successfully accessed the engineering mode. First time, it doesn't necessarily pop up, but eventually when you get the hang of it, in the other video I posted, it probably worked out a little bit better. This time I had to try it a couple times. So here is accessing uh, the engineering mode. You need the code. So I had this wonderful user go ahead and drop me the code. I'm really appreciative of your services provided to me. I will go ahead and also leave you a comment in regards to what you were looking for, which I did not answer right away, which I just checked and I do apologize ahead of time. So I'm gonna enter in my code and from there we will go ahead and enter into the engineering mode regarding my vehicle and some of you may have a different engineering code than what I'm typing in. So it does state here, which I'll share with you this message. It says vehicles may not operate properly when operating in engineering mode. The manufacturer is not responsible for any damage caused by changes not made through official service channels. You must click OK to go ahead and get into the engineering mode from this point. 
right so I've clicked OK and it brings up a series of different options to view including all in one version system sw history screen version diagnose diagnosis a variant coding cpu variant coding so there is a whole bunch more including cpu variant coding module info care dtc for developer engineering mode camera simple info this one which i think has something to do with possibly touch i'm not sure it's in japanese maybe amos blue light screen communication mode sound vehicle linkage function and here supposedly is empty uh, spots for if there's going to be additional like additions or updates along the way now I am concerned about my camera so I am going to go ahead and go into the engineering mode camera area now I have a engineering mode camera like basically vlog so it says here beginning of I want to say developer log main whatever you want to say it but it does state like my like driver camera, SVC. Um, it does say camera, camera. There you go, rear. So it says a rear. So it has different like logs, and it doesn't just doesn't just end here. So let's go ahead and explore all of them, so everyone could go ahead and see this as I'm seeing it. But it's basically like a lot of logs in regards to my rear camera. Okay, my reverse camera has not been working since a springtime, if I'm not mistaken, many, many miles ago. Uh, unfortunately, past warranty, you know, time frame. You have 60,000 miles, bumper to bumper warranty, or five years that Hyundai provides you. So, once your car is out of warranty, guess what? It's on your dime that you must pay. So I am trying to basically troubleshoot, figure out what's going on with the camera so that I can have it working again without a big expense out of pocket through servicing it from a local Hyundai dealer. Okay, so here is like my log view and then there's also like log file and then there's camera tuning, display tuning on off, guideline tuning, on off i'm not touching any of that i'm interested in this part where it says like basically the log view and all of these log files once again okay so i have all of these all of these logs here okay so as far as what i'm doing right now is i'm basically trying to clear the error codes it's like basically a low risk troubleshooting step and it's unlikely to damage my head unit or reverse camera and if there is an actual hardware problem clearing these errors won't resolve like the root cause like specifically um, the problem could return and the camera may still not function if potentially there's like faulty wiring a damaged camera a hardware failure or software corruption. Uh, basically, factory resets and pro reprogramming in itself could lead to like unintended consequences if misused. But essentially, like clearing these error codes is it's low risk. And by me going ahead and clearing them today while I'm filming this video. I'm going to strop the car, reset it once I'm out of the engineering mode for the camera. And if this doesn't fix my problem, my next step would be to buy a camera. Like the, I did buy a camera and it was actually a different sub model. I don't know why they sent me the wrong one. So I will 
go ahead and buy the correct one that I was supposed to now that I've actually taken apart the trunk and tested it and saw like, hey, it doesn't work. So um, back to business, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna clear out these codes now. I've shared with you all of the top secret information. I wish I could go ahead and like scroll over like left to right, but unfortunately I can't. So here's all the errors for my engineer mode camera in engineering mode regarding the camera log view. So I'm going to clear them and see what message pops up. Very nervous about this, right? Oh my goodness, they disappeared, wouldn't you know? Anyways, back to business, we are going to exit out of here and we are going to get out of the engineering mode get out of this okay so i'm out and now ladies and gentlemen i am going to shut my vehicle off that's it and if you're curious and you want to know how to go ahead and get that little jingle when your car starts and shuts off, I will go ahead and post a video at a later date and time regarding that. Now back to this, I am going to open and close my driver door so I can go ahead and reset my vehicle completely. Then I'm gonna count to approximately 30 and then start it back up and see if we got a camera now. And if we don't, remember, it's other things. It could be a faulty wiring, could be a, a hardware issue, a software issue, or the camera itself. My thought is there was some short with the wiring in regards to the weatherization aspect regarding the camera, but I am not 100% sure. And seeing that I did not go ahead and take it to the Hyundai dealer to figure it out, I am going ahead and posting it up online for all of you so you could see me troubleshoot. And if you want to try along with me, you can or see whether or not my solution fixed the problem for you or that it's wonderful. All right. So now I'm going to start up my vehicle. Okay, so we have started the vehicle and we've basically done the magic, clearing out the logs. I can go back in there and I can see whether or not the logs return after testing, but here is going to be the real testament. It's going to be putting the vehicle in reverse. So I am going to put my vehicle in reverse and see what happens. And my camera, unfortunately, does not come on. So now I have placed my vehicle back in park. I am going to press the camera P next to the stick shifter for reverse to see if the camera comes up that way. And the camera does not come up. So although accessing the engineering mode and clearing out the error logs, I have unsuccessfully reset and reactivated my reverse camera. So let's check those logs again in the engineering mode to see if new logs are present. So as I shared with you um, initially, you're gonna go into setup, you're gonna find this little gear and you're gonna click on general. This will come up. You're gonna press this five times, try and be nice about it patient with your finger. There we go. How many times is that? I don't know. Was that four? That was ridiculous. All right. Now we are going to go ahead and enter in this code and see if those logs are still present. And again, I am really happy for my fellow YouTubers who have gone ahead and helped me as far as this step is concerned. I'm very much so appreciative. I can't thank you enough from the bottom of my heart. I've been bragging um, to my friends and my family how wonderful you are. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. All right, now again, 
getting the message. Remember, vehicles may not operate properly when operating engineering mode. We're gonna click OK. All right, so we are going back to the camera and we are seeing, oh, what's up? The log files have yet returned. So it looks as though the problem lies in the camera itself, the hardware, the software, or the wiring. So on to more troubleshooting, so it seems. But just to give it a fair opportunity, I'm gonna go ahead and clear out these logs one last time, okay? And I am going to exit out of the engineering mode, and I am going to turn off the vehicle one more time and I am going to go ahead and give it a minute by opening up this door and I am going to restart the vehicle go press the setup get back into the gear and go ahead and access it again All right, I'm back at the screen. I'm gonna enter in my code one more time. And if you saw the code, I apologize. It is, again, a very cautious unit and you must be very safe about it. So I wanna keep you all safe by not going ahead and sharing too much with you. But here's the code again. Back to the camera part and the logs have gone ahead and returned again. So despite clearing out the logs, they have returned. So they are going ahead and staying there. So the clearing of the logs has not helped in the engineering mode.